The more we try to unify the flesh, the worse it gets. We command to preserve the unity of the spirit. And in the Greek text, and the tenses of that text, it speaks of something that is already accomplished before the foundations of this world. The unity is in the spirit, not in the flesh. As long as you hang on to the flesh and fight this, trying to preserve what you think you got, created and independent from God, it will never happen. This unity of the spirit and getting past some spiritualizing it to its death, not understanding what spirit is. It's more real than this manifestation in this created material world. Why did God a man's disobedience at the Tower of Babel? Why did he confuse the languages? Disperse the people, divide the lands. Clearly says in Acts 17 that they might grope after him. And what he's finished and pronounced on the cross by Jesus that it was finished, manifested in the material created world for all eyes to see like a billboard. Place card, it says. Flashing lights finished before the world began. God foreknew the fall of Adam and corrected the greatest injustice ever to be served upon humanity that because of what one couple did, all would be under the wrath of God. God saw this as an injustice. And before it occurred, he had already solved the problem of this iniquity that visits the third, fourth generation and that sin that so besets all humanity under the wrath of God, not knowing it. Be manifest as sons of men rather than be manifest as sons of God, as God's original intent had wanted to occur.